Hello everyone, this is Lego Lady 21 here with another haul video. In today's haul, you might be able to tell by the background, I have the Clutches Secret Stash from Bricks on the Dollar. So, let's get the package open. Alright, well I know this is pretty late because I know there are already several uh, videos of this on YouTube already, but I did order mine so I figured I would do the haul video. You've got the uh, VHS uh, tape packaging, which is different, and inside we've got a bunch of stuff. Starting with the uh, color chart, which I am kind of interested to see how close this is to uh, real Lego parts, so that's pretty cool. We've got this little uh, magnet that's from the Neighborhood Grocer, little uh, custom magnet, a little note, some of these odd little uh, one by two uh, tiles with the like ball on the top, which I have no clue what it'll be, it'll be used for, but there are seven of them in here, right? Seven of them in here, so I'll find something to do with them. There is the classic cola classic space uh, bottle cap that I may or may not turn into like a magnet or something to put on my fridge there's also the uh, custom printed uh, unikitty figure from minifig fx so that's pretty neat I don't know that I have any of the unikitties so that's pretty cool and lastly there is a uh, pizza sticker. All right, so you can kind of get a better idea of everything that is included in the July's monthly mystery box. And to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I hate being negative, but I want to be truthful. And I think there was just something missing from this box to, you know, make it worth the uh, $25 for the subscription. Um, there were some neat concepts and ideas. I think the uh, pizza sticker is kind of cool, you know, taking a uh, a printed piece from Lego that's neat and it's pizza who doesn't love pizza and putting it on a sticker that's kind of cool the um, the magnet is okay I don't usually put you know custom or whatever magnets on my fridge the bottle cap I guess it would be neat if you turned it into like a, a magnet or something else the uh, color chart I have yet to uh, test its accurateness I think it would be kind of cool if it was any bit accurate, but I know like with when printing and colors and everything, it kind of distorts it a little bit. But again, I don't know how often I'd use that. These little pieces back here are neat, and I'm going to try and challenge myself to actually use them and put them to some sort of use. And the Unikitty I'm kind of torn on because I generally only go with things that are Lego released, you know, prints and uh, stickers wise. I don't usually do custom prints, custom pieces, custom anything. And so that one's kind of torn on me, but I know a lot of people do do that and I'm sure they will love the uh, custom printed Unikitty. But for me, I don't think this box or this month was worth the subscription. I was already charged the another $25 for the month of August and so I will be receiving review and reviewing that box as well and I hope it's a little bit better there's a little bit something else or different in that box but I might just be being a little harsh let me know what you think in the comments down below and let me know if you got the box or just seen people opening theirs and if you think it's worth the value. Until next time, that's all for this haul. This has been Lego Lady 21. Y'all have a great day.